A current of 8 amperes branches into currents X, Y, and Z through resistors with resistances 7, 4, and 6 ohms as shown here on the right. It is known that the current splits in such a way that the sum of the currents through the three resistors equals the initial current. The energy generated in each resistor is given by E equals I squared times R, where I is the current in that resistor and R is the resistance. We're asked to use the Grange multipliers to find the currents X, Y, and Z, which will minimize the total energy generated. It turns out that nature always splits the currents so that the total energy is minimized. We can use the equation E equals I squared times R to help us determine the function we're trying to minimize, which will be the function f of x comma y comma z in our notes for Lagrange multipliers. So because we have three branches, using the equation E equals I squared times R, f of x comma y comma z is equal to, again, I squared times R for the first branch, which should be x squared times seven, plus I squared times R for the second branch, which is y squared times four, plus I squared times R for the third branch, which is z squared times six. Simplifying, we have the function f of x comma y comma z equals seven x squared plus four y squared plus six z squared. The constraint is formed by knowing that the current splits in such a way that the sum of the currents through the three resistors equals the initial current. We can see the initial current is eight amps, and therefore the constraint is x plus y plus z must equal eight. Or for the method of Lagrange multipliers, we can say g of x comma y comma z equals x plus y plus z minus eight equals zero. And now we can minimize the function using the method of Lagrange multipliers. This occurs where the gradient of f is equal to lambda some constant times the gradient of g and g equals zero which results in the system of equations shown below, as well as the constraint equal to zero. For the next step, we need to find the first order partial derivatives for both f and g. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to 14x. The partial of g with respect to x is one, giving us the first equation of 14x equals lambda times one. The partial of f with respect to y is eight y, the partial of g with respect to y is one, giving us the second equation of eight y equals lambda times one, and the partial of f with respect to z is 12z, and the partial of g with respect to z is one, giving us the third equation of 12z equals lambda times one, and we also have our constraint, x plus y plus z minus eight equals zero. And now we need to solve this as a system of equations. To do this, we will solve the first equation for x, the second equation for y, the third equation for z, and then perform substitution into the fourth equation. So for the first equation, to solve for x, we divide both sides by 14, which gives us x equals lambda divided by 14. For the second equation, to solve for y, we divide both sides by eight, which gives us y equals lambda divided by eight. And for the third equation, to solve for z, we divide both sides by 12, which gives us z equals lambda divided by 12. And now we'll perform substitution into the constraint, which gives us the equation that lambda divided by 14 plus lambda divided by 12 equals eight. Notice now we have an equation with one variable, which we can now solve for lambda. The least common multiple of 14, eight, and 12 is 168, and therefore to clear the fractions and solve for lambda, I will now multiply both sides of the equation by 168, simplifying, we have 12 lambda plus 21 lambda plus 14 lambda equals 1,344. Simplifying and solving, we have lambda equals 1,344 divided by 47. Well, now that we know lambda, we can go back and determine the values of x, y, and z. Substituting the value that we just found for lambda, we can now determine the values of x, y, and z. X is equal to lambda divided by 14, which is exactly 96 divided by 47 amps, or approximately 2.0426 amps. Y is equal to lambda divided by eight, which is exactly 168 divided by 47 amps, or approximately 3.5745 amps. 
And finally, z is equal to lambda divided by 12, which is exactly 112 divided by 47, or approximately 2.3830 amps. These are the currents that will minimize the total energy generated. I hope you found this helpful.